Another high-profile court case has come to a close. A jury today convicting Geelan Maxwell, the longtime associate of serial sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, on five of six counts related to the abuse and trafficking of underage girls. ABC's Rihanna Alley has the latest. After six days of deliberations, the jury in the high-profile Ghislaine Maxwell trial has reached their decision, finding the British socialite guilty on five of six counts. In a six-count federal indictment, the Department of Justice accused Ghislaine Maxwell of helping disgraced and now deceased financier Jeffrey Epstein recruit and groom underage girls for sex between 1994 and 2004. Maxwell was Epstein's one-time girlfriend, one of his closest confidants and longtime associates. Maxwell played a critical role in helping Epstein to identify, befriend, and groom minor victims for abuse. In some cases, Maxwell participated in the abuse herself. No cameras were allowed in court, but four accusers took the stand, including Annie Farmer, the only alleged child victim in this case to publicly identify herself. Maxwell was a really important part of the grooming process. The defense challenging Maxwell's accusers, including one who testified under pseudonym Jane, asking her why she waited 20 years to come forward, also suggesting another accuser's testimony was inconsistent with what she told the FBI years ago. The road to justice has been far too long, but today justice has been done. Epstein, a registered sex offender, never stood trial. He died by suicide in a New York jail cell in August of 2019. Maxwell was arrested more than a year ago, behind bars since. Her request for bail denied four times. She pleaded not guilty to all federal charges, calling the allegations false and financially motivated. Her defense team arguing she has been a scapegoat for Epstein's actions. We firmly believe in Glenn's innocence. Obviously, we are very disappointed with the verdict. A guilty verdict in five of six counts exposes her to up to 65 years in prison, although she's expected to be sentenced to less. No sentencing date has been set yet. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York.